Today, we want to look at how to effectively facilitate your daily stand-up by the middle of the sprint or towards the end of the sprint. And I'm guessing you can see my scrum bot, right? We in spring one. And if you look right up here, we have about four days to the end of the sprint. Now, if you kind of look closely to my bot, what can you see? We have four days, which means that we have already exhausted six days in the spring. And let's assume you're the Scrum Master, you're facilitating, and this is your bug. What are some of the questions you're going to ask? Or are you just going to say, okay, uh, let's have our update for today. Uh, John, tell me what you uh, did yesterday, what you're doing today, and what are your impediments? Are you just going to go the normal way? Or are you just using normally with like, hey, Peter gave me an update. And at the end of the day, like, oh, thank you for your update. Let's go. All right. No. So this is one of the things that will help you uh, to really help your team get the result. Now, when you have a scrum bot like this towards the end of the spring, this is when you definitely bring your leadership and facilitation skills on the board. Right. Normally, what's the right way to walk the bot? Um, there's no right way, but it's always advisable. Start from uh, uh, the left, start from the uh, right, going to the left. So start getting an update from here, going to the left. Now, why is it important? We consider this as the shopper technique. The shopper technique simply means that you have three people, right? Let's say you have three people uh, in the shop one person is ready to check out they're on the counter right another person is kind of rounding up right rounding up and another person is still shopping and then another person is still at the door just walking in who are you going to give attention to obviously for the one that is ready to pay and get out right so you start walking your butt from here we have one ticket on ready to approve. If this is normally ticket approved by the PO, but every team has its unique way to get ticket approved. So you, the Scrum Master, need to know who should validate the ticket. So if the person is on the call, you're like, okay, um, um, maybe uh, 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 Zhang, do we think that the, this can be validated today or before the end of the spring? It's like, okay, yes. So what I do for this other ticket, I simply just uh, swap the way I ask my uh, team the question. I'm like, okay, uh, um, Peter, uh, what do you think will stop us not from completing this ticket by the next four days? Like, oh, it's in QA and the QA say, okay, I expect to get this done by tomorrow. We should get it done by then. All right. I go to the air. I say, all right, uh, Mark, what is, what is, do you think? we stop us not from completing this ticket, right? Mark was like, okay, uh, I'm expecting this, this, this. Now they're giving you the impediment, which now help you to go further to prop how you can solve that. But if you also figure out my scrum board where you realize that there's a very big issue here, right? And this is also what most often we don't pay attention, right? Look at, look at the to-do column. There's a ticket here, which is of high priority. And then, they have been working on a ticket. I'm assuming that the person who is assigned this ticket has been working on some other ticket who are kind of less priority because I see ticket in here that are not really of priority. Like, okay, uh, so if you have ticket that are of highest priority and sitting on the to-do column, you need to emphasize that this ticket be pulled out first and start working on them, right? You Yeah, I'm gonna like, oh, we have a ticket on priorities and uh, can we start working on it today? And what do you think can stop us now from completing that? So if I see that this ticket is of high priority and we don't have the possibility to complete it, this is one of the stuff I'm going to escalate, right? I'm going to escalate. But if I can have someone pull it directly to progress, then they can start working on it. So let's assume that I'm facilitating and just like, okay, no worries. I'm going to start working on that today. I'm like, okay, can I put it in progress for you? Say, Thank you. Now I put in progress. Now, mommy, you're going to encourage them to update their status. But in a case like this, this is an emergency. You need to be able to help them 
push this forward, right? They pull that in in progress. And then I uh, simply like, okay, I see this ticket. Do we think it's something we'll get started and finish like, okay, uh, I thought I had some bandwidth, but then this ticket actually took me more than expected. Like, uh, so now you get to ask the question, what do you think we did a wrong estimation for this ticket or what actually take you more than expected? So now it's a period where you start engaging your team in order to find out exactly what might be holding them back, right? So this is how you facilitate a daily stand-up when you pass the you pass the mid of your spring you're getting towards. Try to understand exactly why things are not moving the way they're supposed to move, and then help you help document them and follow up with that. If you actually do that, you will definitely not have so much problem with your team and you always understand the reason why they're not meeting their goal all right so this is how you facilitate a daily stand up uh towards uh, the end of your spring if this was beneficial for you i wanted to do three things number one i wanted to like i wanted to drop a comment and i wanted to share and for those who are not yet part of this great channel please make, make do well to click the like button and next week one of the stuff i'm going to promise to deliver um next week is i, I want to show you when this spring has ended i want to be able to show you the output with the result and also explain what it's happening during the result, right? And then show you what the result are. Now, this is more like four days to run in. I'm just going to pull one of these tickets in to done by this day. The reason I'm doing this is because when you come back to watch the final video, you'll see how this was affected or how this actually play out in the entire process. All right, so also subscribe and if you need coaching how to be able to do this thing by yourself right how to be able to create a bot like this run it and facilitate it like a pro you want to join our scrum uh practice community where we don't just teach you this you're not going to listen as you're listening to me in a video you actually be the one sitting behind the screen and trying to work out these and explain this to order and then receive feedback okay everybody thank you and i'll see you next week. Do have a great weekend.